Welcome to another news recap. These are a series of videos I do where I take you kind of behind the scenes, show you what's going on with our world, talk to you about posts and videos you've done, and give you more insight. Also, I give away stuff like hats and things behind me to lucky winners. So, hey, it's Tim, Pick Up Truck Plus SGP Talk. If you're new to the channel and based on the weekend views, you just might be. We do these, and I love doing these, kind of give you guys more behind the scenes and talk to you more stuff going on. Also, for those existing uh, followers who've been around for a while, it is a Monday. I usually do these on Fridays, but I got kind of busy because I kind of bought a new truck and I sold the other truck. So lots of stuff going on. So let's dig into this. It's on, let's start with the website, pickuptrucktalk.com. There's lots of stuff going on. It's actually a forum as well I should pull up. Um, really a lot of information on the forum. It's an, it really spent the weekend working on the forum plus tundras.com. There's some uh, information going on over there. We're kind of working together collaboratively to do a video. So lots of good information going on there. Um, looking at the website in the last week, Jill has an article on the best use size full full size best use full size trucks. Blah blah blah. Let me talk slowly. And and by the way, if you think I'm talking too fast, hit the setting button. Turn me down. You can turn down speeds. Uh, best used full size trucks for 2024. It's all Tundras based on Consumer Reports information. I have the just ordered my new Ram 1500 Bighorn. Pretty interesting details on that truck. A lot of big uh, price shock on that. And I'll, I'll get to the other videos on YouTube channel. We'll talk a little more behind the scenes what your comments were. I have the, the fire truck on the ICU road. If you haven't seen that crazy video, it's pretty pretty darn nuts. Uh, King of the Hammer says an EV charging. They use hydrogen to charge the uh, batteries up. Basically, the hydrogen create energy. Energy goes in the batteries. Interesting thing. Uh, Jill's got an article on subscription fees in your vehicle. Uh, we also have the still the uh, Highlander Lexus TX kind of uh, comparison. And then um, some uh, some different comparisons there as well, and then some different news. I don't know why some of our images are not popping up. That's what kind of took me off there for a minute. Uh, we will have a live stream this Tuesday. Um, Jill and I have already committed to that, so there you go. We can click on here and go to the forum, and uh, lots of information on the forum. I just posted some more stuff on here today and good details. Please join the forum. 122 members. We're having a good time over there. I can finally really reply to you guys in a way that we can get conversations going as opposed to YouTube channel where... You comment, and sometimes you reply, sometimes you don't. Sometimes it gets lost in the internets, webs, and things like that, and kind of well, frustrating. So looking at the uh, on the YouTube channel, we go to two videos this past week. So a couple of big ones. First, I did a Silverado video of how much I lost in the truck. Um, it's interesting in the comments, and one, one a couple of things stood out to me. Number one, a lot of people talk about my insurance rates, which I thought was really interesting. Um, I need to go back and do more research on how much I'm paying on insurance versus what I'm paying on other trucks. And kind of do a video on that because that really stood out to me as a really hot topic for you guys. Also, I did sell a truck for a loss, but the one thing I didn't talk about very much in that video was the tax savings. And I don't do that for a reason now because I've had too many wannabe CPAs come after me and tell me all this, but tell I'm leading people wrong and all kind of stuff. Well, and then they admit in my business, in my particular field, in what's going on with this, the tax savings are really they absorb any loss I make. It, it really makes a big difference. And so in my case, it makes sense. In your case, it probably doesn't make sense. So that's your that's my speech to EP, CPAs. Not everybody applies for this. It's a section 179. You can write off as much of the vehicle you want first year. You can write off as little as you want. You don't have to worry about five-year depreciation, that kind of stuff, or uh, uh, depreciating the vehicle and getting the money tax savings. So that all changed a couple years ago. Um, I asked, then I talked about how the video on the Ram 1500 it got ordered. Pretty good views on that so far. Kind of crazy, $72,000 for Bighorn. One of the big questions from that was, uh, why didn't I just step up to a Laramie? I mean, I get leather in most of the packages as well. It really comes down to timing. I talked to Ram behind the scenes, and they tell me they're building the Bighorns first. And so if I want to get a truck for Ast, it's got to be the Bighorn. And as you know with YouTube, if you follow this um, the platform at all, uh, being first does matter to some degree. I mean, you don't have to be first, but you can't be 27th. Right. I, I don't always subscribe to the you have to be first thing. I've done pretty well with that over the years, not being first. But, you know, I, you got to be within the first couple. Like you can't be the 27th person of a Ram truck because nobody watched those videos. So I want to be in that first couple that get that new truck. And I just want a new truck, too. So I'm excited about that. Also, I have some really good ideas. I have a friend who's got the uh, Hemi and the Ram. Same kind of configuration, and everything. So I want to do some good comparison videos with them. That'd be interesting. Uh, I have the SUVs best for the money and longest lasting. I'm surprised it didn't get more play. That's a question that you guys are always asking me, and then here it is. I also did an interview of with the uh, uh, Work Truck Solutions, the CEO and founder, about work truck pricing. And I don't know, you guys didn't like that one either. Kind of interesting. Again, I get asked a lot about fleet truck stuff, and then I do it. 
Here we go. Um, I do have the uh, mid-size versus full-size debate that Dave and I had a couple days ago on this, actually last Saturday, on a live stream. I put that in a separate video because I got asked that question on the forum. I did a video on this design flaw, and I shouldn't have called the guy out. That's my fault. I apologize again. But I, I just don't, I don't know. It just seems weird to me what he did. Um, EV production cut, again, we talked about before. Lightning has been reduced and cut. Ranger and uh, Colorado went up, and that was the last truck news recap. I did a different thumbnail, trying to see if you guys get more views than that versus the other ones. So that is the truck news recap from the prior week. So let me go ahead and pick out the forum winner from, or the, excuse me, the forum winner. <laughs> the raffle winner from last week was Dave Grimm, which I'll send you an email. I'm a little bit behind the emails. I'll send that out as fast as I can. And then let's do the new raffle um, keyword. Okay, this week's keyword is super duty. I have it as two words, S and D, both capitalized. Um, I say that because I almost ordered a Ford Super Duty. There's a little bit behind the scenes there. I was actually discussing this with some other YouTube creators. Uh, Ryan Dothwit, if you know his channel, Driving Sports TV, who we are discussing this as well. So um, I, I didn't pull the trigger on a Super Duty. And the reason why was even though it's got the new 6.8 liter engine, the gas engine, um, I want to try to test it out. But the F-250 comes in so many configurations and things. And the F-350, and then how do you, do you start doing heavy duties? And you're towing stuff all the time and just... It didn't seem like a natural fit. It seems like this channel is really good for full size because full size these days is kind of a work, recreation, lifestyle kind of truck, kind of fits the mold for all the things I do. And so it just felt like it made more sense. I may revisit that with heavy duties in the, in the future. I just don't know quite yet. And my friend JD over at Big Truck, Big RV, he does a lot of heavy duty stuff. So I didn't really want to compete with him either that on the platform because it didn't make sense. He's always towing campers, doing RV stuff. That makes a lot more sense. Interestingly enough, I went and looked back at last week's raffle, and the keyword was RAM. So <laughs> it's the first hat on my wall. I, but maybe it was a precursor to buying a new RAM truck. So it'll be interesting. And I, I have some, a series of videos coming out in that as well. I want to talk about one that I'm working on. Uh, after I buy the RAM truck, after I have for a couple months, I'm going to do a comparison of all four major truck brands, Ford, Chevy, RAM, and Toyota, because I've owned all four. I've driven all four in press loans. I've talked to engineers, I've done events, and so I thought it'd be a really interesting video to get my viewpoint of that, which I actually, right now today, I don't know what that is. <laughs> so I'm waiting to get more time in the vehicles before I do a video, because I know people have been asking me this question, and I just don't know. People have been asking me, do you think you'll miss your Silverado when you get your Ram? I just don't know quite yet. I want to get more time in the truck, sit around in it, you know, think about it, look out the windows, and really kind of let everything sink in before I do a video like that. Okay, that is this week's truck news recap. Again, I just wanted to put it out on a Monday because I got busy on Friday, so I apologize for that. Those listening on the podcast, I hope you got information you needed from this video. Uh, Jill and I have a lot more details coming out. There's a new GX 550. Uh, the videos, we did two of them and two website stories have to write, will be out on Thursday. Um, we also have the Chicago Auto Show the following week, so any uh, questions you have for that show, let me know. I'll do the best I can. Unfortunately, Stellantis, Ram, Jeep, um, Dodge will not be there this year in Chrysler. Sadly. So we'll do the best we can with that. So if you have any uh, video requests, let me know on that. As always, thanks for watching. I will see you down the road.